welcome to week three. Today we're gonna go over a basic GitHub activity to show you how you can create a tiny website on your own local computer and then upload it to GitHub and use GitHub pages to host it. All right, so we're also gonna use a little bit of the command line, which you'll learn more in depth next week, but this way you kind of dig your toes in first. So first you'll notice that I have a folder called 1501 GitHub Activity. It's right here, this is what my VS Code is open at. So we're gonna go to my terminal and it's gonna say 1501 GitHub Activity. That's how we know this is the folder that I'm in. So first what we're gonna do is, in order, um, is we're gonna create an HTML file. So we're not gonna go too in depth with HTML and CSS and other uh, web terms, this, uh, other web terms, this, class, but if you are interested in learning more, then we'll link you to a couple of resources in the lab right up. Okay, so first we're going to make a new file. So the way you make a new file is you type touch and the file name with the file extension. So I want an HTML file named index. So the reason we choose index is this is how the server will know what is that first web page that you want to load up. Okay, so now that we have it open, to go here. Um, feel free to just copy this code, or just do head, um, head with a slash, that's an opening and closing tab if you're curious. Body, I'm going to close that body, and we're going to do header, we're going to say hello world, CS classic, and then close that up. And so what we'll do here is I'll just show you what it looks like, so you can type open index.html. You'll load it, it's just text, it's just a header. Okay, so now we'll go back. So don't be afraid if you don't necessarily understand what I just wrote, that's not really the point. Um, just go ahead and uh, type it in, and then, um, like I said before, we'll link you to some resources if you're interested in learning more. So right now, we have this folder, but we don't have it connected to Git or GitHub. We're going to go ahead and just initialize it. So it's just going to be git init. Init meaning initialize. Okay. And so now that we've initialized it, we have to add our changes. The way we do that is you go git add and then whatever file you want to change. But in this case, we can just go ahead and add the new folder by adding just a dot. And so now we're going to, we want to commit this save. We want to make sure it gets saved. So we're going to do commit. We do the dash M so it creates a message. So when you go on GitHub or you check Git log, there's little comments to say what everything means. So right now we can just say initial commit. Um, as you start coding bigger and better projects, you definitely want to make sure you're definitely going to want to make sure that your comments are descriptive because otherwise you'll have um, you have a bunch of commits and you won't know exactly what each thing does. Okay. So now we've committed, but now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do git push, but it doesn't know where to push, where, like what GitHub repo do we want? So we'll go ahead and we'll go to GitHub. So here's the basic page for GitHub. I'm going to go ahead and press new, open a new repository. I'm going to name it 1501 website example. You can add a description if you want. Um, I'll just keep it public. If you'd like to do it private, you can. If you notice, it says initialize this repository with, we're going to skip this step because we are importing an existing repository. As you saw, we already initialized it before with the git in it. So we're going to go ahead and just create the repository. It's loading. Okay, so there's a couple different, um, a couple different setups. And so this one right here is the one that we're going to look at. We're going to push an existing repository from the command line. So we're going to go into our terminal. And we're going to copy this code. So click this button right here. We'll swipe back. We'll go back to our terminal, we'll paste it in, press enter. And presto, you'll see that it's writing a couple things. And then you'll have the branch master set up to track remote branch master from origin. So that means that you basically connected, uh, you've connected your, pay, uh, your local files to that GitHub repo. So if we go back and we refresh you should see that your file's right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click it, and it's gonna be that same thing we typed in the other screen. 
So now here's what I think is really great. So GitHub Pages is a wonderful way to host static sites. So static sites are typically ones that just require HTML and CSS and don't really have databases. So I've used this a lot for um, personal projects when I was learning web development. Um, I've used it for hackathons when it was just a simple prototype. And honestly, you could also use it as a place to store a website portfolio and link to your different projects. So let's go to settings. And we'll scroll down to GitHub Pages. So right here, we're, um, we're going to add a source. So our source is just going to be that master branch that we have. We're going to go ahead and save that. So we'll scroll back down. And we'll see that up here, our site is ready to be published at this link. It's going to be your username.github.io slash your repo name. Go ahead and click that. All right. So you'll notice that it says there isn't a GitHub, um, a GitHub pages site there yet, but typically that has to do um, because it's going to take a second to load. So I will just cut back to when it is back up. Okay, so we're back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and refresh, scroll down, it's gonna be green. It says your site is published at, and it has this hyperlink right here. Go ahead and click it, and it's gonna say, hello world. So now that you understand the basic flow, feel free to practice it a couple times, and then in our lab write-up, we will link a couple portfolio templates that do require more of a setup, but are very well documented. So if you want to go through that, read it, um, you can take that as an extra way, um, extra way to get some more practice and get more familiar with GitHub. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, bye.